Hey there, today's video I'm going to show you how to use the uh, gradient option and the color palette in Silhouette Studio. So let's get started. So right now what I'm going to do is bring in a file that's got a back black, uh, black background that I want to remove because I want to put it on a water bottle and this is the one that I need so what I'm going to do is I hope my system doesn't go slow I'm going to get really irritated so right now I just need to come over to that little slice of bread open the trace panel select it up there and then trace your rooster <clears throat> your image I'm just going to trace it so that looks good right where it is. I'm just going to trace it and I'm going to move this out the way. And I want to match. I want to try to get this close. Um, I was going to use my own. I have a um, pattern that was that would look really beautiful. But I want to see how close I can get to matching this. Because I don't want that black background. I may just uh, do an outline or an offset and make that black just to avoid having this whole area black <clears throat> but anyway for now I'm just gonna right click I'm going to release compound path so I can delete the parts that I do not need which is the square and the rest is okay I'm not gonna group it right now actually I am gonna show you something else I'm gonna fill it in with the just a random color for now only because I need to delete the insides here so I'm going to right click <clears throat> make compound path and it gets rid of all that ex extra stuff so what I'm going to do now is come over to I'm in the color palette I'm going to come click on this uh, middle one and I'm going to click on I want I need to get some light blue and green in here so uh, they've got some really cool ones. Just let me show you real quick. Select it first. <laughs> anyway, it's got some really cool. It's got some really cool color effects. Again, this is a gradient option. Anyway, here's some really cool patterns to play with. But let me get back to what I was doing before I get carried away with something else. Okay, so I need to find. I'm not going to match this exactly. I can get it close. So let's try this one here. <clears throat> Again, I'm looking for some blue and green. And there is a way that you can. Hang on a second. Let's try this one since the top is blue. If you click on advanced options, you can add colors so let me click on the green I just double clicked on the green and let's see you just have to play around with it oops I think I was there Oh, I just passed it up. <laughs> you have to move your mouse very carefully. <clears throat> okay, let's say... No, that's too dark. You can move it here. It's kind of hard to see what color, what kind of blue that is. Anyway, so... If you double-click up here... It should add another bar. <clears throat> there we go. And the bar, if you click on, if it, as long as it's on this bar, you can select, click on the next color that you want. And of course, you see that it changed. So now you can move the bar to the left or to the right. 
to kind of fill it in. And it's obviously not the right green, so you can come down here on this little circle and move it down where it's lighter. Try and get it as close as I can. Down. I don't know if it's my computer or... I'm still moving it to the left. Trying to avoid getting some white here. <clears throat> I don't know that I can delete the last bar. Move this one to the right. It'll let me. I don't think you can move the first one and the last one. So I'm going to add another bar right around the middle. Just double click there. See the arrow? It'll pop up. So I'm going to go to the left to get some more blue. You probably can't tell, but it's changing it. I need <clears throat> I need some of the blue. The only problem with this is this is blue, and then it goes down to green. So with this, the only thing you can do is is vertical. This is horizontal, blue to green, and this is gonna be vertical, blue to green, which is still okay. can't move it so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add another one here I'm gonna make this one blue move this one to the right to be honest with you this is my first time doing this <laughs> I was uh, I was on it earlier and I kind of I just double clicked and I noticed it, a little another bar popped up. So I was like, okay, cool. I think I know what to do with this now. So I think I'm okay with. I think I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't want any white on there. So I'm going to move it to the far right. I'm going to move this down and see what it does. Makes it lighter, looks better. Let me do the offset real quick. Bear with me because this is new to me, but I wanted to share it. Okay, so I don't like the white. Let's do black. That looks much better. 0 0.033. Let's do gray. Let's do medium. I'm going to group it. I'm still going to have to weed it. <sighs> well, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to figure out how I want to cut this. In the meantime, I don't like the black edge here. Um, but just to give you an idea on what to do with the color palette, I'm going to uh, do a couple more just so... Uh... Good night. Just so you can see the other cool effects and move it down so let's do this one come back up to the color palette come back to the middle section Well, there's all kinds, just different things you can do. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you.
um, have fun with it, experiment, opportunities are endless, I enjoy playing with this, sorry, anyway, um, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys, if you have any questions, comments, let me know, just have fun with it, I hope you enjoyed this video, until next time.